And now, over to an interview with Mike from Monster Comics. Hi, I'm Sean Lozon. Uh, I'm here with Mike today at the Monster Comic Lounge in downtown Halifax. So what's been the most popular thing sold in the last little while? Recently, Walking Dead, just because of the, the TV show has raised popularity. Um, the new DC relaunch they did in September, those comics are selling like crazy still. Everyone's really excited about that and that's got a lot of new customers that were not buying comics before. What's this free comic book day all about? Come in on Saturday, May 5th this year. It's always the first Saturday in May. Lots of free giveaways, usually the publishers, the printers, the distributors and the stores all sort of share a bit of the cost. So we get stuff for low cost. We give it away to customers, no strings attached. So if someone wanted to get into comics, uh, where would they start? Well, you come in and you go, I like Avengers, what do I do? And Marvel's put out like 35 Avengers books in one month, so it just, people get sort of more alienated than... Okay. And out of all the things that come through this place, what's been your favorite thing that's passed through the shop lately? Uh, we've had a few high-end comics go through recently. There was an amazing Spider-Man 1, which is all, you don't see that often. A Showcase Comics 4, which is another big book. Um, for magic cards, we've had some high-end, what they call the Power 9 cards, which are sort of the nine most expensive, super overpowered cards that came out when they first created the game. We've had a few of those come through recently as well. So how much do those go for? The magic cards, 300 to 1500 in that price range. So now with everything being online, I know the movie rental industry is taking quite a hit. How is the comic book industry doing? For me, sales go up every single year. That's a good sign that things are still doing well. Now, there are stores that don't have that same, I guess, luck. <laughs> but comics are really popular right now. The movies are helping to promote just awareness. And it's no longer a market that is sort of restricted to, you know, for lack of a better term, nerds hiding in their basement. Like, it's, it's, it's pretty socially acceptable to read these sort of things and be involved in this sort of culture now. So that helps a lot. I know this place is called the Monster Comic Lounge, but I can see from looking around that you carry a lot more. Uh, what all do you have? I try to stock, I won't say almost everything, but <laughs> I have a lot. We have a lot of new comics. We do subscription services for people. We do graphic novels, board games, role-playing games, both new and used. We do a lot of back-issue comics as well, which is something you don't see that often anymore. We carry Warhammer. We carry card games like Magic and Legends of the Five Rings. And I have a pretty substantial selection of action figures as well. So, that, I mean, that covers... We even have some science fiction and fantasy novels that we carry. And so we have a, a lot of different product lines. So it's sort of something for everyone, I think. Tune in tomorrow. Same bat time, same bat channel.